Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over how to um, connect to the Adafruit Bluefruit LE SPI uh, module, which is this um, this little device right here, sticking out here. Um, it's really a nice device, and uh, the only thing that uh, you have to do with it that's a little bit of a pain in the neck is you have to um, solder in uh, to each of these uh, little holes here. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Um, there's pins coming out the one end here. But let me kind of show you uh, how this works, though. So after I plug in my battery, turns on my Arduino, and you can see the uh, module there is actually blinking. I don't know if you can see that. And so I'm going to connect using the uh, software that you can download freely from the App Store. Um, for both Android and iOS, and I'm going to connect to the device. I'm going to click controller and controller pad. And now with that, you can kind of see how I'm controlling the lights on this um, NeoPixel strip. And I actually have it so that some pre-programmed settings, when I hit these, it changes the lights. Um, pretty cool. And uh, let me just go into a little more detail about, you know, there I am kind of moving the red lights around. I'll go into a little more detail of how I set this up. But um, you could set this up with everything. I've actually made remote control cars that I control through this Bluetooth module as well, turning left and right and forward and backwards and all that good stuff. Um, all right, let me go into how I set it up. So as I said, this is a Bluetooth module bought from Adafruit. And um, like I said, the only hard work with this is that you have to solder in each of these little holes here, little pins. Uh, comes with a little breakout pin uh, that you can kind of see on this end here that I put these jumper wires into. I mean, I guess if I was going to make this uh, official, I would solder, would have used regular wire to solder this in, but um, I may use this module for some other project later, so I didn't solder it in. Um, you'll see I have in here, I have an Arduino Uno, and I'll share with you this page that kind of shows you, I just went according to their directions for wiring up each of those pins um, on the blue, the blue fruit uh, module to the Arduino Uno. So I wanted to point out that the, there's a couple libraries that you need to use the code. This one is for the NeoPixel strip. I have a link to that. And then here um, is a link to where you can download the library for the Blue Fruit. Um, and when you download them, they come as zip files. You can unzip them and then just put them in your um, Arduino libraries folder. That should be in your documents folder if you're on a Mac. And you can use any Arduino, but um, I had a Nuno handy. And they actually have the code that I um, used as well, which uh, allows you to um, connect to the Bluetooth module. And I'll, I'm gonna, I want to just point out one bit of code in here. Most of this is uh, you just go with the default stuff. But the one part that I edited was the one that said uh, the buttons here, because that's what I wanted to use. And um, the the uh, right button, or actually, I'm sorry, this is the up button was seven, I believe. The down button's eight. You just figure that out uh, through trial and error. I actually printed them out here through my serial monitor. Um, but then I called the NeoPixel um, method that also was found on Bluetooth, I'm sorry, Adafruit's website. And there's different uh, neat little methods they have for running colors through the NeoPixel strip that are kind of interesting. And then I made my own little bit of code here for um, moving with the left and the right the uh, red lights across the uh, NeoPixel strip, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, 
And so that that's the only area. There's other areas in here which I could have really just deleted because I'm not using this. I was just using the um, uh, the button part of the controller. And so that's the only part I had to edit in here. There's, um, like I said, there's other uh, code in here that's probably not as useful. All right, so uh, let me just point out what else I have in there. So this uh, strip is, um, it's actually not the standard NeoPixel strip. This is the, uh, I'll have a link to this in the description as well. So I'll, I'll include all the code I have as well. Um, if you wanted to use this, it works with all the NeoPixel um, code though, but it's called the uh, LPD8806 LED strip. Um, it's weatherproof strip. Anyway, so that just connect. There's four wires come out of this strip. One's for ground, one is for power, and then um, two ones for data. Data and one's a, they call it the clock. Um, it gives you on this page as well. It tells you where you can plug them in. Um, if I look at my code, I can tell you that I had the data in pin three and the clock pin in pin two. Okay. And this starter variable was for keeping track of where the red light were on the strip as I clicked left and right um, on the Bluetooth app. All right, like I said, the Bluetooth app you can use on Android phone, you can use on iOS. Um, I even think there's a Windows version that you can use. And I found it to be very responsive. I will say that um, and I just have a 9 volt in there for providing some battery. Um, otherwise, everything's connected as you would expect. This um, Bluetooth module, I tried it without soldering it. It was very glitchy. Um, it would disconnect and reconnect. But once I soldered these in, the connection has been steady. The blue light's on when you know you have a connection. Um, so that's it. Uh, I just wanted to share this with you because I thought this was a pretty cool. This is so versatile. Like I said, I've used it for a remote control car. Um, uh, and there's so many different projects I can think of where I would want to uh, have a Bluetooth module involved. Um, hope you like that. Let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe. Thanks.